going on guys? Flying DBZ here and we're back for another Pokemon Master video and this is another should you summon or not. Uh, so now we finally got Gladian that is finally here in Pokemon Masters and uh, he's a very cool sync pair. Uh, we already know everything that he does but uh, let, we're going to take a look at everything that he does and uh, see if he is actually worth summoning. Now when you go into his like uh, trainer card over here, you can go to his max. Like like with all the sync pairs in the game, you could just check them out before you summon. And uh, you could click on uh, Sil Valley and go through all of his forms and see the different kind of colors that he can go through. Uh, so nothing really major. It's just that like uh, the horns on it on the top of his head. Oh, that actually looks very nice. Um, like uh, like like they just he just goes through all the the types uh, in the in like in the game uh dragon actually looks pretty nice too um but that's a cool little touch that they have of course like it, it like the details in this game that they do for all these trainers are very very nice and i really like it a lot um but his stats were here they're a flat 206 across the board and uh for a tech type it, it, it's decent uh obviously it could be better but uh for his moves he has crush claw 75 base power has a good chance of lowering the target's defense, which is not bad. And then he has his multi-attack, which will change depending on the type that you are. Um, and then he has X attack, and it will raise his uh, physical attack. And uh, he has uh, My Mind's Made Up. And changes the user's type to that of the target's weakness. This changes the user's own weakness type and the type of the user's multi-attack and uh, aud uh, audacious multi-attack. Drastically raises the user's speed. So he will become a lot faster too. Not a lot because I mean his speed is 206. But it will help become a little bit faster. And then his sick move is 306 base power. Which is really good. But that's when he's 5 out of 5. Um, and again this will change depending on the type that you are. So if you're an ice type like we are right here. he will be uh, The sick move will be ice. And then if you're a fighting type, it will be a fighting type attack. Same with his multi-attack. will change depending on the uh, on the typing that you are. And uh, like for multi-attack being base, 150 base power is actually not bad. Uh, but with him not having like very, very high attack, like, it's not really going to do that much damage. But, uh, but if you have him, then I guess you could check him out. But he's a very, very cool Pokemon. So uh, with his passive, he has Backfire too. Sharply lowers the attack and special attack of all opposing Sync Prince just before the user faints. And uh, I I mean, you can't, you don't, like this really isn't going to activate that much unless you like purposely mean for this guy to die in battle. But like, you're not really going to want to do that. Like, unless you really need to lower their attack. But I don't know, This it, it's sort of a weird passive to have. But I don't know. Well, I guess we'll see in battle. Uh, but lucky, lucky skills, nothing of course. And his type skills is uh, plus 25, 24 attack and special attack, and 24 HP when you have it level four. Um, so like when you have them, in, like it, it's gonna be normal across the field. I don't know how that's gonna work. Like if you are a fighting type in the match, will this change to fighting? I don't know. I guess we'll have to find out. But anyways, let's go to his grid, and I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, so now we're on his grid, and actually, this is my first time seeing his grid, so this is going to be the first for both of us, unless you guys already seen his grid. Um, but we're going to start off with the bottom left, and at the very, very bottom, we have, um, if we could click it, come on, can we click it? Uh, Alright, there we go. Uh, so, double down three, powers up sync moves that are super effective, and it uh, is only three, so it's, it's good. And then you have uh, Stamina Reserve 3. Once per battle, charges the user's move gauge by 3 when the user is in a pinch. So it's decent. Um, and then he has some speed gauge, uh, speed pluses uh, on the tiles over there. And he has multi-attack, move gauge refresh. And uh, of course, that's gonna ha he's going to have that. And then he has uh, Crush Claw Power Up. More uh, multi-attack power up as well. And then over here, we have My Mind's Made Up. Uh, hit and heal nine makes the user gradually heal itself when a move is successful. So when you use uh, my mind's made up, you're gonna be healing yourself uh, when uh, when you use this, which is actually not bad. Um, so he he's like a multi multi function Pokemon or Sync pair. <laughs> no pun intended with that multi attack, but 
So far, his grid is decent, uh, not the best, because he's not really, like, a, an amazing Pokemon. He's very unique, but he's not, like, busted or overpowered or anything, but... Um, and then, of course, you have his sick move power-up for his uh, Audacious multi-attack. Um, so those, like, unless you, you're really going to re be relying on their sync move, then you can pick those up. But if you're not, there's really no point in wasting energy on the tiles. Um, and then over here on the bottom right, we have my Minds Made Up follow through 9. Ensures that the user's next attack will be a critical hit when a move is successful. So that's actually not bad. And it's a 9, so it's not bad. Uh, then we have HP up and then more multi-attack power-ups, uh, defense power-ups, HP again. And then we have X attack MP refresh 3, uh, which of course that he's going to have that. And then he has unbending, defense cannot be lowered. So if you're going up against a uh, a boss that will be lowering your defense or on his uh, move, he lowers your defense a lot, then I guess you could have this. But in most battles, that's not really going to be necessary. So you could just pass up on that. Uh, but on the bottom right, you're probably going to want to pick up the X, X attack MP refresh. That's going to be the most valuable one there. Uh, but on the left side, bottom left, uh, multi-attack power-up or move gauge refresh is going to be good there too. And the multi-attack uh, power-up over here, plus three, is going to be nice as well, of course. Um, now, if you plan on using Crush Claw, I guess you could pick up these two as well. But honestly, i just go for the uh, attack there, and I go for the multi-attack. And then uh, go for My Mind's Made Up. And then I guess maybe you could go with uh, Double Down too, uh, Just because, of course, when you use your mind, uh, My Mind's Made Up, you're going to be super effective regardless. So then you could just go for Double Down 3. And then there you go. You're super effective. Uh, moves will be even more powerful. Um, and then I guess you could also pick up uh, um, Stamina Reserve if you want. But I'll probably just pass on that. <laughs> um, and then on the, bo on the top right... We have um, uh, super duper effective too. Powers up moves that are super effective. So you're probably going to want to pick that up too. Uh, and then we got more uh, HP up, special defense up, attack up. Uh, more multi-attack over here, which is nice. Uh, headstrong we have. And it, attack cannot be lowered, which is not bad. But he's not really like a heavy, heavy hitter. So like I'd probably just pass on that. And then we have... Uh, uh, HP advantage 3 the more HP the user has remaining the more it powers up moves So that will actually help him a lot more as well on doing more damage. So you could probably pick that up So then going there, I probably just do this X attack up uh, Speed up multi attack multi attack and then HP advantage and then we have uh, 18 energy remaining there uh, But if you want to go for the X attack MP refresh, then I guess you could just click that and then it'll bring you down to 11 but i'll probably just pass on that um and then on the top left we have uh crush claw crush claw on a roll one raises easier's chance of lowering the stat value with the additional effects move so like basically lowering the defense is going to happen more frequently um and then you have uh burst in ensures the user's next attack will be a critical hit when the pokemon enters the battle so he'll be this will actually be decent in co-op so like when you when you constantly just switch him in and out uh he's gonna get like a guaranteed critical hit when you go in for an for a move um so you could do that i guess but you're not really gonna use that as much um so like i, I would just pass on that and then we have uh vigilant vigilance uh vigilance sorry the pokemon is protected against critical hits so you're probably gonna want to pick that up as well um and because like really on the top left that's really the only thing that like stands out to me the most that would be helpful so then you, you could just go for hp attack um then i guess you could just go for crush claw because that's in the way uh and then you could go for vid vigilance and then uh, there you go and then you have two energy remaining so um i guess you could just click whatever title you want that you can Go for, and uh, it, it, this is pretty expensive grid right here. That's like 726. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's like a lot. But uh, honestly, for the left door, for the plus two, I'd honestly just go for uh, plus five on the defense. Just for a little bit more tankiness. But that's what I would do for his grid. His grid isn't really like the best, but it is good for what he can do. It could have been a lot better. Uh, but for what he is right now, um, it, it's not bad. It's not bad. But I know if I do pull him uh, in the future, because I'm not going to be summoning for the for the three family members, I'm not going to be doing that. 
because uh, they're not like a pokey fair so like they're gonna be ha coming out in the future on other banners as well so like if um another signature cynthia comes out or halloween signature cynthia comes out uh during halloween of course <laughs> uh the all of them all of these three uh sync pairs are gonna be on cynthia's banner because they're not a pokey fair so i'm just gonna skip on this and summon when uh the banner is more valuable um but anyways like he, he's not bad he's not bad but he, like uh, i don't know he he's not like the best best but i mean he's a very unique pokemon um, so we'll go back to Pokemon Masters and then we'll continue from there. Alright, so now we're back in Pokemon Masters and, uh, of course he does have the banner just like his mother, uh, where you do get the coins. Um, but it's only for the first summon that you do and, um, it, it's not worth it. You only get one coin as well, um, and they're not a Poke Fair. Um, it, it's just a spotlight to show that, like, they're, they're in the game now. Um, but honestly... Like, if you really want the coin, like I said on the other Should He Summon, uh, if you just want to get the one coin, you could just do the one and done and get the coin. Um, but still, it's not going to be worth it. I'd rather just save my gems. Um, like, he's a very, very cool Pokemon. But if you really, really want to try to get him, um, you can. Uh, cause, like, he, like, he is very, very cool, of course. Um, like, the multi-attack and then changing the typings. And uh, his grid is not bad either. But there, like, like there, there's better options for uh, for Sing Paris because you still have Signature Leaf Red and Blue that are still here. So if you haven't gotten them yet, or you're trying to get them, or you want to get them three out of five in the Sync Grid, then your gems are going to be much more worth over here, and it's going to be the same for Lily. She's a she's a really good support type, but. Blue, honestly, is a better support type than Lily, and uh, he's a Poke Fair, so who knows when he's going to come back. Uh, same with uh, Leaf. She's a very, very good tech type, and uh, so is uh, a Gla Gladian with Silvalli. Uh, but Leaf is a Poke Fair, so the, like, I'd rather go for Venusaur and Leaf just because they're a Poke Fair, and they're a much better uh, tech type than uh, Gladian. So, honestly, I wouldn't recommend summoning. Um, like, don't get me wrong, very unique Pokemon, uh, Sync Pair, but I would pass. A hard pass for me. Um, same with, uh, the mother. I already, uh, did the video on her, but I would pass on both of them. Even Lily when she comes out. Now, I'm not gonna be making a video on Lily. Unless you guys really wanna see her. Um, but, honestly, if you really wanna test out these Pokemon and see how they are before you summon, if you want, wanna make your full decision there... You can literally just go to the event and uh, just test them out on the uh, a two-way street battle. They're not going to be at the max potential, but you can still get the feel of how they are uh, before you summon if you want to try to go for them. So it, it's not it, it's a good way to like kind of get the feel for them, like if you really really want them. But I wouldn't recommend doing it regardless because they like the banners aren't that great. Like them like themselves, they're good. He is decent, um, but she is very, very good. But they're going to be on other banners in the future, so I would pass. But that'll be it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys later.